We know a lot about the universe. What more do we want? What big questions are there? Science does not proceed by leaps and bounds, but with small steps. Sometimes they seem small, sometimes strange, even bizarre. As the White Queen said to Alice in Wonderland, Sometimes I've believed as many as six impossible things before breakfast. Creating knowledge is more important than possessing it. In 1585, Simon Stevin asked the question, does a heavy object fall faster than a light one? To find out, he invented a brilliant experiment which gave him the answer. Galileo asked, how do things move? That's not what is motion, but what does motion do? What happens? The answer is up in the air. The biggest step was taken by Christian Huygens. He wondered, can you tell whether a single object is standing still or not? His answer was the first relativity theory of all time. Motus inter corpora relativus tantum est. The mutual motion of objects is entirely relative. Galileo thought that a planet moving on a circle could always go on moving that way. Huygens checked if that was right, and he found the mathematical formula for the centrifugal force. Isaac Newton proposed a physical origin for that force, but he did not know what that mysterious gravity was. Centuries later, Albert Einstein found the answer. Curved space gives curved orbits. Just do it yourself and you will find out. In a two-dimensional space, that is the paper, I draw two parallel lines. Next, I put some mass in that space. The mass curves the space. Thus you see that curved space gives curved orbits. But how does matter produce this space curvature? Matter does very strange things. This super small world doesn't work with orbital motion like planets. Richard Feynman, another physics giant, found a way to describe it. His Feynman diagram. The universe is made of particles, space and time. But how are these three connected? Sure, matter curves space. But what does gravity have to do with matter? That is the biggest question for the 21st century. Who will find the answer? Who will be the next giant of science? In 1987, the rock band U2 had a hit song. And I still haven't found what I'm looking for.